Hi guys, welcome back to Awesome Eats in my messy apartment in Jakarta. It's a beautiful day and it's Easter, so we're gonna do a perfect ribeye roast. Hi guys, and welcome back to Awesome Eats. Prime rib roast beef. Okay, this is the most simple way to prepare a roast beef, and the cut we're gonna use for this is a ribeye, which is traditionally used because it's the best cut for this. Make sure your meat is at room temperature, which is absolutely crucial because if it's cold, it'll take forever to cook. So take out your meat out of the fridge at least four hours before you cook it. Trim off any ununiform bits and start salting the meat. Make sure you get coverage of over all sides and season your steak generously with some sea salt. Go really heavy on the salt, especially on the fat side, because this will help render it down. Now we get a really large frying pan on a stove and heat it up as hot as possible with some neutral oil. Start searing all the sides of your roast. The roast will actually brown by itself in the oven, but what we're doing here is kick-starting the so-called Maillard reaction, which enhances protein flavors by reducing sugars and creating a chemical reaction which intensifies the flavor of brown protein. We're also trying to render a bit of that fat down. Okay, now here comes the important part. Most restaurants or chefs will put the steak in a pan into the oven, but the bottom of the pan still has too much residual heat. So just take the roast and put it onto a rack on top of a baking dish. This will allow the oven to circulate air around the roast much more evenly, creating a superior crust and a smoother gradient of the meat. I start the roast at 180 degrees Celsius until it reaches 50 to 52 degrees internal temperature. The lower you can set your oven, the longer it will take, but the juicier and better your roast will become. Low and slow is always the key. Check out this video in the bottom below to, for more information. I was in quite a rush, so I took it out at 52 and let it rest for 25 minutes, which is the perfect time to get all the side dishes ready. After your meat has rested for a bit, slice it up in thin slices. Not too thin, otherwise it gets cold faster, but give everyone a generous portion and plate it up like a boss. Ideal for this are some German roasted potatoes or some broccoli puree. Click on either to learn how to make them, and please don't forget to subscribe to Awesome Eats.